I'm Kenny from Pro Tool Reviews, and one of the questions we come across pretty frequently is, what's the difference between a hammer drill and an impact driver? So we're going to answer that right now. All right, so I've got Milwaukee's Gen 3 M18 fuel hammer drill and impact driver. We're going to run some tests and show you what the difference is between the different impact mechanisms in there. This, and it's just for self-defense. I've also got a random guy in the back. We'll call him Clint. And he's going to be running some times for us so we don't get too far out in the left field. So anyway, just the basics here. The impact driver has a rotational impact mechanism. It's a hammer and an anvil, and every time it rotates, it slams against it to move the fastener forward. In a hammer drill, it's got a back and forth impacting motion, and it's designed to help chip. So, but let's see what happens if you use both of them to do a fastening job, and then we'll go outside and we'll see what happens if you use both of them in concrete. So I've got some quarter inch ledger screws here, and we'll start with our impact driver. Make sure we're in high speed. And I've got a full battery. We're using Milwaukee's uh, three amp hour high output batteries for this particular experiment. All right, so let me just get that to bite down. All right, random Clint, are you ready? Ready. All right, three, two, one, go. 278. 278. He's also writing these down as we go so he can give us an average at the end. All right, you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. 258. 258. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. 245. 245. All right. Now, the impact driver is designed for fastening jobs like this, and it's got a higher RPM than the hammer drill does. But of course, once it's under load, things change. So let's see what happens here. And we're going to make sure that we are in hammer mode. We want the impact action to be what we're looking at, not just the rotation of the drill. So in hammer mode. And again, this is designed with a back and forth chipping motion. So it's not necessarily going to do us any favors in this. And again, we'll just get it started. Okay, you can hear that hammer action. Let me just double check and make sure we're in high speed there. All right, random Clint. You ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. 140. One, four, like one second, point four? Yeah. That's really fast. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Uh, wow, 150. 150. Last one, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Go. 135. 135. All right, Clint's going to do some math. I'm going to kind of break this down a little bit as to what I'm feeling uh, as this is going. Obviously, the drill was faster. And if you look at back at our uh, drill versus impact driver video, you can see that's actually pretty consistent. All right, so the final numbers, 2.6 seconds for our impact driver, 1.42 for our hammer drill. But here's the thing. We would never actually use the hammer drill mode to fasten in wood. If we did want to use the, we just throw it into the drill driver mode and that's the way to go. So now let's take it outside of the concrete and see what happens. All right, so we got a half inch Bosch multi-purpose bit here that we're using to drill into concrete. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the impact driver. Remember that's got the rotational impact mechanism in it. So I don't expect for it to give us a lot of help chipping into concrete like this, but let's see what happens. Now the flags on here, just to make sure that I go to the same depth with both of them. All right, Clint, are you ready? All right, three, two, one, go. 1253. What'd you get? 1253. 1253, all right. And you can kind of hear, it actually drilled pretty quick until the impact mechanism took over, and then it really slowed down. All right. Now that we've got our bit back, let's go to the hammer drill. Now remember, this one's got the, the chipping impact motion, so we expect this to be a lot faster than that 12 and a half seconds from the impact driver. All right, ready, Clint? Ready. Three, two, one, go.
9.15. 9.15, so a little more than a three second difference there. Let's go unpack it. All right, so bottom line, two different impact mechanisms. This is rotational. It helps more with your fastening. And the big deal of why you want to use that, even though it might be a little bit slower, is because it's just putting less strain on your wrist. And when you get into really long and really thick diameter fasteners, it's going to make an even bigger difference in your driving speeds. When it comes to drilling into concrete, that's when you want to move to your hammer drill. Its chipping action made it a lot faster than the impact driver was, and of course, it's helping to clear out that as you go too. So you're getting an advantage over using just the drill driver mode. Now, if you want to see the difference between the drill and the hammer drill, we've got a video on that, so be sure to check it out too. <sighs> that just made my day better. Anyway, you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm Kenny, thanks for watching. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.